What was that? That was my van in 10 seconds. Now stick around for the next several minutes to check out the whole build process in my van. Yes, I have a Dodge Ram Promaster 2500, 159 inch wheelbase. I'm gonna show you the entire van and how it's built. Uh, starting obviously at the beginning, all the way from the insulation, which wood I, what, the type of wood that I used. I'm gonna try to explain everything that I can. Hopefully this will help. Comment below and I'll do everything to comment back and answer whatever I can and how I live in my van 100% of the time. So with that being said, enjoy this. Yeah, this is what I got going on so far. So as you can see, I've got the rattle trap um, up. I got uh, the insulation on the floor and the subfloor in, and I have just one piece of wall insulation up. Uh, the rattle trap is amazing. Um, I have it all the way around the wheel wells. I drove it around, drove the van around without rattle trap on it for a while, and to be honest with you. After I installed it, it made a world of difference in driving noise. So it definitely works. I'm gonna hopefully do a time lapse right now and hopefully be able to see the process of the installation. I got my, my brother Steven here helping me today. Where are you going? Gap filler. I just put my first line up here. No idea. I might should probably wear a protection mask. It says keep it well ventilated. I'll try it again. See what happens. So we got a little work done yesterday. Nothing really on the inside. This stuff is awesome. Uh, Secaflex, I used it for uh, sealing, thicking down my solar panels, which I'm gonna show you. 200 watt solar panels uh, that are flexible. And we installed that roof vent right there. Okay, so let's go up to the roof now. Climb up the ladder. These are my, um, they're Sun Power 200 watt solar panels that are flexible. As you can see, the Secaflex is here. My roof vent right there, and I've got two more 200 watts up there as well. Uh, I just need to, the wires are taped down because I need to feed the wires through the van. This is my uh, inverter. Uh, it is a 2000 watt 
uh, pure sign inverter. Uh, those are my Renergy batteries. They're 200 amp hour, they're gel. This is my solar charge controller. It is a 60 amp, it is uh, by Renergy. Also the same people that made the batteries, switches. Uh, this will be for my lights. DC fuse box, bus bar, need that. Uh, that goes to my inverter. Progress on the van. There's going to be a huge jump in progress from one video to the next. I just didn't, I forgot we were busy and we were kind of just going and there's gonna be a lot of uh, jumping. So I apologize for that. I'll try to explain everything from what I, from my last video into this one of what we've done and Okay, here we go. So first and foremost, you can see that there's a bench here that's on a piano hinge right there. Uh, light switches are here. That's gonna be uh, for the lights, obviously. I just said light switches. Um, underneath here is the batteries. Um, we have hooked up the batteries to the charge, charge control, solar charge controller, which I will show you. And as I back up here, you'll see that's the shower. The pan has not it's there, but it's not like fastened in yet. The walls are there just obviously because the pan is there. The bed is all framed out. Um, my roof insulation is all done finally. That was such a pain because you have to like get sticks to, you know, hold them up. It's just a pain. Platform, I use an MDF board, put it in three panels um, so I can lift up any of the panels at any given time. And we cleated each one so it wouldn't slide. This is it's my solar charge controller. Why is this important? Because this regulates how much charge goes into the batteries. It won't overcharge it. I went with a poplar, by the way. Pop, these are, this is all poplar board. Uh, the frame is just regular um, plywood, but the, the out, you know, place of the wood that you can see is a poplar board. It takes a very, very good stain. This is going to be my refrigerator area right here. That is a water tank, fresh water tank. That is my my inverter. Uh, you'll see that my inverter's here, my solar charge controller's there, and my batteries are there. I have light on the bed. I do fit very comfortably. I'm only 5859, five, so this is about 6263 going across, so I'm good. Um, so that is the progress so far. I'm doing roof. Uh, strapping so I'm gonna have like a underneath will be like a like a white and then I'll have strips of like stained wood it'll look like a floating ceiling um, and it's just a design don't worry about it and more progress has happened on the van build so we got my this is gonna be my kitchen countertop it's a um, solid maple it's like an inch and a half thick it might even be two inches thick to be honest with you um, we cut out um, for the sink and for the cooktop um, and that's going in right there the ceiling is done so we framed it right up around uh, right in tight to it um, today we're going to be working on the upper head cabinets we'll expand across and we'll also go over here this is actually an interesting detail we decided to drop inch and a half just in the bed area we changed the directions of the boards it just kind of gives it a uh, different uh, viewpoint um, and it changes the space inside actually a dark walnut stain this is stripped down uh, plywood it's just a cheaper way to do it um, but as you can see uh, it's poplar it's a poplar plywood we we stripped it down and um, we made we made our own custom strips out of it and then from there we I put a dark walnut stain on there but underneath is just a uh, I believe it's a quarter inch piece of plywood um, this was actually I wish I videotaped us doing this because it was not easy you can actually see the plywood right here uh, we barely tacked in the plywood underneath and then we actually pilot drilled the holes here uh, into the metal um, rib I guess the ribs here. That's where the, uh, and then so pretty much the slats are actually holding up the entire ceiling, um, except over the bed area. We use two buys. Uh, these lights are flush. You can see that one right there. Uh, they are functioning. Yep, as you can see, the lights are working. Uh, I'm gonna have a different switch. 
for the rear, these rear two lights I'll have a different switch for, which will be by my bed, which will be right here by my head. I definitely should have done this video at the beginning of the day, and I also should have done it before I put all the tools back in the van, because now it's kind of a mess, so I'm sorry. So let me just show you what's been done. Um, door on the shower is on a piano hinge. If you don't know what a piano hinge is, you're about to see it. Piano hinge is that hinge right there. We also bought the tile that's gonna be on the back wall here. And these are just going to be like shower, like white walls. I did some staining a little bit. Um, I also put some mineral oil um, on my uh, butcher countertop here, my butcher block countertop. I stained this wall um, with early American. It's a little bit different than the dark walnut that's on the uh, ceiling. Uh, we put all of these in. These are hinges. I probably shouldn't do that because of the light. I just blocked the light out. So um, these hinges right here we bought off Amazon. They are phenomenal. Um, we only wanted to come up 90. As you can see, I have no, I'm going to put backers there. Don't worry, you're not going to see any of that. Um, but a lot of people have like uh, drawer stays. Uh, these stay up on their own. I'm not touching it. I'm not holding it. It's up on its own. I got the doors cut right there for my closet right here. Um, the upper and lower door. Another day, a little more done. I just did some staining really. I put a natural stain on this door here uh, to my shower in my bathroom. I did a stain on the upper cabinets, um, which is called Vintage Aqua. You can get it at Home Depot. And this is a cutout for my slide out table that's gonna come out like this. And uh, I'm actually using a tabletop that I built for myself as a coffee table. And I really, really liked it so much that I wanted to keep it. It's made of wood, 100% wood, but I, I put, I cut it up in pieces and then I stained it to make it look like brick. So it's a brick tabletop that'll slide out right, right in there. It's an 18 inch cutout that'll slide and I'll be able to use it for my bench right here. I'm losing daylight, so I'm trying to do this now. Do the best that I can to show what I've done or what I'm in the process of doing. I put the vinyl floor in. It's like a woodly oak is what it's called. I put this latch in right here to keep it, the shower shut and everything. I did install these buckets. I'm gonna put two more there for storage. These are all the drawers that are in. I know I have, they're all soft clothes. Yay. My water heater. Electric. It's small, mini. 2.5 gallon so it is small it's pretty much all i really need this is my heater it's a dc thermal uh it's 10 000, just over 10,000 btus it's like 10,020. um but pretty much that cabinet will close here and then i have this panel it's a false panel and when i put it in right it'll be right there and when i want to heat the vent pull it off the shiplap, uh, it's white, uh, it's already, it's from actually Home Depot. I was going to go to um, like, a, like a mill and get my own shiplap and then paint it white, but I actually did the math out on it on uh, mileage and gas and uh, the Home Depot stuff that is already pre-painted. It was just easier to get it from Home Depot than it was to do all that labor for it. This is actually the rest that I'm gonna need for uh, the recess right there. Uh, the recess over there, um, up on top of the door there, as well as this whole wall, as well as my uh, door, uh, my sliding door here as well. Now I've not said yet, the way that I'm doing the van is not how everybody does the van build. Uh, everyone is different and that's what the beauty of this is. Uh, you can do whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm just showing what I do and how I do it. Um, again, this isn't the way, it isn't the best way, and it isn't the worst way. It's a total matter of opinion. So I've really shown you. As I open up my van, tow bar right here, and a couple of my tiles fall out. Ugh. That is going to go underneath, and it's going to hold my, my K-pipe scooter even though it looks like a motorcycle what's underneath the bed here this is all going to be storage underneath here this is my water system we 
are almost done with it. I actually have to go to Home Depot right now and, and get the rest of the fittings that I need. I could have drilled holes in the side of my van. I didn't want to. Um, I might eventually, but uh, if I drilled holes in the side of the van, I could just hook these two up. This is uh, city water. Uh, if I go to a campsite and I don't want to use my, my water tank and I want to use their city water, then uh, that's what this is right here. That'll go down to this and right here. Um, you'll see a lot of people use levers. This has a built-in lever. That's all that is. Boom. Goes right through. And then that pipe goes back into my kitchen area and shower as well, which is up there. This is my water pump. I got this bad boy off Amazon. Um, I haven't tested it out, but the reviews on it are very good. Uh, filter that I bought separately. Um, so when the water comes from boom, 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 and then up. Uh, this is the gravity fill. This, you just literally can hook up water to. Uh, it's, like I said, gravity fill. So it's all done through gravity. Uh, all you do is put it your, a garden hose or uh, like a, a water. You, I could get like a, a gallon of water from the store and just dump it in. It does not matter. Why did I want it back here and not in the side of the van? Well, I'm going stealth. And that's what this is all about. I'm... If you look on the outside of this van, it looks like a complete work van. Don't know if I showed this, so I'll show it now. This is all storage that was underneath my bed. I'm gonna tell you this right now, this is not the cheapest way to do this. This is expensive way. There's definitely cheaper ways to do this. Almost done. I put up the rest of the shiplap here on the walls. And in my recess panels, turn the lights on back here. Um, and some minor details. What I'm gonna do is actually from here, about mid door, all the way up is going to actually be um, blackboard. I'm gonna put a panel over it and actually paint it with a blackboard paint. And the bottom is just going to be the shiplap Right here, I'm gonna. I gotta end cap that. I gotta end cap that. I still gotta stain this. I gotta. I also gotta do the back doors. I'm gonna panel the the two upper parts. I'm gonna panel the bottom parts. I still have to make my uh, curtains. Look what my niece left me. A little flower. That is a black oak curtain. I'm not sure if that was in the last video, but that was added recently. We drilled the hole. Uh, through the floor. I'm not going to move those shower panels to show you, um, but that is actually drilled. Hung the gray water tank, which is uh, pretty much right underneath my batteries here. Uh, kind of a little bit off center, but anyways, it's it's below me, and we're going to drain the shower into the gray water tank. So that's my van build. Hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to my page, share with your friends, and on my next video, I will show you a full finished van tour. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you uh, it all right now, but enjoy about a minute long of my finished pictures, and then the video after that will be a price breakdown. So please stay tuned for that. As time progresses, you will see weekly adventures of mine of how I live in my van, pretty much in a city setting, uh, so you can get a general understanding of what it's like to be inside of uh, this small space, tiny home living. Uh, again, please like and subscribe. I'm here for you.